we are definitely getting an Unreal Engine Pokemon game. Hey everyone, Mitch Morty here. The Unreal Engine is probably one of the most recognized and reputable graphics engines in all of gaming, having helped develop games like Ark Survival, Sea of Thieves, and even this juggernaut known as Fortnite. But what if I told you that we're going to be getting a Pokemon game using it? Sounds crazy, right? Maybe. But let me know what you think after the video is over. I'm making this video following a series of tweets slash reddit posts from some reputable sources, so let's just take a look. First up we have CentroLeaks on Twitter. Um, you know it's legit because it says this is from a very reliable source by the way. Um, but CentroLeaks is has pretty much been my source uh, for leaks. So let's take a look here. Switch 2 dev kits have been here a while, backwards compatibility, new cartridge format, Final Fantasy VII Remake looks and runs like a PS5 game on Switch 2 dev kit. Now we're going to get into why this pertains to Pokemon here in a little bit, but let's take a look at the article. So it is good to note that this does pretty much confirm that the Switch 2 exists, there are prototypes being used to test games. So in this article, if we go down here, where it says Square, that's uh, the company that makes Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy IX Remake was Summer 2022. Final Fantasy Remake was Summer 2024. Not sure about that anymore. Game needs some polishing. 10 Remake, 10 3, has a skeleton crew. It is not making its anniversary. Square has new PS5 dev kits. But right down here, as we saw in that little tweet before, um, Final Fantasy VII Remake looks and runs like a PS5 game on Switch 2. Port took no time, I'm told. Could be a launch game, not sure. Assuming that this article is 100% legit and this is from like an actual like Nintendo employee leaking this kind of information, this is pretty big for this like Final Fantasy VII part uh, because it says that it runs like a PS5 game on the Switch 2 dev kit, meaning that this Switch 2 is going to be incredibly powerful. If it's going to be on par with PS5 and the Xbox series, um, this is incredibly good news. That being said, how does this pertain to Pokemon? Let's take a look at what engine Final Fantasy VII Remake uses, okay? Final Fantasy Remake Engine. Unreal Engine 4. Again, how does this pertain to Pokemon? Let's move on to this second thing that I have here. What I wanted to show you for this second thing was uh, this Twitter post from Lutu on Twitter uh, that was then uploaded to Reddit. Luckily, I have a screenshot of it because both of these posts are gone, just completely gone, which is super sus in my opinion. I'm going to throw it up on the screen real quick, but this is the actual Game Freak LinkedIn profile page. Everything is in Japanese, so I what I did do is on my iPhone, I just highlighted all the text and then translated it, and that is what this Google Doc is, I just copied it from my phone and then paste it into a Google Doc. So we're just going to go read through this job description real quick. Technical artist, so this is the job description, this is a job name, technical artist, Unreal Engine, full remote, limited, pocket monster, obviously, so Pokemon. Business content, various types of characters and backgrounds in cooperation with finger room programmers, please implement material. Not completely sure what that means. Again, this is just like my iPhone, like translating this, so it's very not good. So I'm gonna just dissect this real quick. It's like various types of characters and backgrounds of cooperation with the finger room programmers. I'm assuming what this is trying to say is um, they're asking for like like um, that their requirements are you need to have some sort of experience with character and background development. In cooperation with finger room programs, I'm not too sure what that is. I think that might have something to do with coding. And then please implement the material, meaning you need to build the portfolio and then send it in. Obviously, we're looking for Unreal Engine experience. Obviously, it's Unreal Engine. Now, further down in the description, I'm planning slash developing a series. In addition to the Pokemon series, there's a bottom-up development system called the Gear Project. So let's dissect that yet again. So in addition to, this is what I want to pay attention to is in addition to the Pokemon series because the job title here 
pocket monsters. So technical artist, Unreal Engine four mode for park for pocket monsters. So this is they're looking for an, someone with Unreal Engine experience to work on a Pokemon game, right here. But also, like I said, I think Gear Project is pretty much just like a side thing that Game Freak made so the employees don't get burnt out from making Pokemon. Because like they do have like a bunch of like other games here, like Rhythm Hunter, Harmonite, Solitaire Horse, Tembo the Badass Elephant. And all of that are just like kind of like solo ish projects or, or like kind of like indie projects. So this is pretty much saying you're going to be making a Pokemon game, but also we have this gear project thing, which you can help work on as well. I did take the time to look up Game Freak on LinkedIn. So this Reddit post here, that is 100% authentic Game Freak linkedin profile 100 i saw it with my own eyes i went on the app I, I looked at it and everything this is definitely their profile this job listing is gone it no longer exists either it got taken down because people like saw it or the spot got filled um so either way i think we got some pretty darn good evidence that game freak is working on a pokemon Unreal Engine game. Yay. Now there are channels on YouTube that have actually remade Pokemon games using the Unreal Engine. I'm gonna put some links to those kind of videos in the description of my video. That way you guys can kind of see like what an Unreal Engine Pokemon game would look like. In the meantime, let me know. Do you think this is legit? Or am I just a sucker? <laughs> see you in the next one. Peace.